traditional time. We're going on for the traditional, all looking in our. We proud of who we are. They say occasion was not stay out too late in the morning. So I have to make sure we finish fast fast and come back. Because Brenda show us this night. Ui. Husband man, you will not no, become a stand one. Don't come stand. Don't go. Don't go enter the beach or no. Si ma you know why the frown? Si ma you for camp. After one year, you will not know that you are late. Si ma. That's my guy. Odogu. That's my guy. Go. Boot tox. This is what opens my stuff. Yeah. She's coming to. She's coming to. She's coming to. She's in front. In front of. I mean, so he's coming to take um, his wife. There you go. That's beautiful. I think this part happens for nearly all tribes in Cameroon except the Muslims because I've never attended their traditional wedding but for Southwest and Northwest weddings I've attended this part always happens where they bring different girls covered with bed sheet and the groom's family has to identify if she is the one if she is their bride or not if not they have to give money for transportation for them to go and bring their actual bride and it's so funny <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, Papa, we'll be good, Mabel. 
is not sitting on the same chair with her husband that is intentional she's sitting on a traditional stool being given to her by her father you're going to see more about this traditional stool in the course of the video and its uses but apparently she has to carry it from her father's house into her own husband's house or family compound wherever she's going to from here so you're going to see more about the traditional stool in the course of the video
wedding for me this right here was the highlight of this traditional wedding for me apparently what is happening here is that they have to make a big place of achoo on the floor on top of those leaves on the floor and the bride and her girls have to eat from there and they have to finish everything if not they are going to pay a fine i don't know how much the fine is but they are going to pay a fine if they don't finish it and fam i don't even know the reason for this eating together <laughs> i did not even bother to ask but i was just so fascinated at the whole thing and i was asking my friends like these people don't know that we are slay queens i mean all bridesmaids had nails done long nails on and i was just like so these people know that we are big girls i mean there is covid <laughs> It was just so funny and the women who are doing this are so active i mean they were losing about eight bundles of a true for you all to finish it i mean just the bride and her girls <laughs> fam when you hear that the eating this day was on another level believe me it was another level everybody washed their hands and got into serious business i mean if food could make you grow fat in a day i think this actually should have made all of us become boscos in a day because it was so much and we had to finish it i mean you see this auntie right here doing this actual thing she was not joking no she was not even looking at faces we we're begging her please don't lose any other actual body too but she was not even looking at our faces she was very serious and sweating you know those one aunties that you always have yes that was it here these aunties were not joking they packed and packed even as we were begging them they were not looking at our faces they put and put and put and we had to finish all of this all of this farm but it was actually tasty but it was a quantity for me i mean so work finally began <laughs> Wow. 
I don't trust it at the rest. At the rest. At the rest. Last month, do her. Last month, do her. Last month, do her. Eh? Oh, no, finish. I'm not married. I'm not married. I'm not married. I'm not married. I'm not Amen. Over to the next activity, the bride has to be rubbed with palm oil all over her body and the person who is doing this is talking in their native dialect. I think she is showering her with blessings, something of that sort. And this auntie wanted to be very understanding and moderate to just rub just a small quantity of palm oil on her body. But there was one uncle there that was shouting. Zo, zo, whatever that means in Queen, but he was actually rioting. Like, why is she trying to be modern? Let her actually pour the red oil and pour it on her body. And I was like, wow, there must always be this one uncle. If you can, if you heard the way he was shouting, zo, zo, until he said wonderful thing. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I was just like, really? Northwest people take tradition so serious. I mean, they had lots of traditional rites performed on this day. I don't even understand the concept of this second wine drinking. One auntie gave her wine again, palm wine, to go and give her husband, and he has to bring the cup back with money. I was just tired, like, fam, what? <laughs> In Southwest, after the first palm wine drinking, it's dance, dance, dance. I think we don't have time for all these traditions, but they take tradition very, very seriously. Yeah, and to them, everything is an issue. You cannot escape one traditional rights because of time or whatsoever. I'm just like, wow, wow, 
this is serious the traditional wedding at the end of the day could make you so tired in short Mew was not a bride i was really just feeling very very tired for her even for the bride to go to her husband's house it's a whole process and tradition here that traditional stool i was talking about earlier in the video here is it this stool they take this stool from her father's house to her husband's house and on the road before reaching her husband's house like every after one meter or two meters they have to put that seat down for the bride to sit on top and then these aunties will come and start saying that oh they should give money they should give money they should give money and from nowhere this auntie came and started passing my friend i could see the way she was really tired i mean their tradition at the end of the day you have rights to get tired because it's so so tiring from one activity to another i mean you will sit there and people will start shouting in your head no people should give money to take her they start arguing you know how it can be they start arguing you no know, the money is not enough she cannot go she will not go they start dragging her no stand up and go no you sit down i mean it's a whole process until she finally finally enters the car that is going to take her to her husband's house you see this auntie preventing her from entering she wanted money like people should give more money give more money when they settled her she came out of the way and the bride finally just jumped <laughs> she practically just hopped into her the car to go to her husband's house finally the lord has done it finally finally, finally. finally. Yeah. Yeah. inshallah yeah. the lord has done it yeah. 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 Doctor, don't can give them your woman. We don't take her. We don't take her. I come out for for our house. We can not give my sister when I get woman. So now I don't talk. I don't can give her. We do our one. Amen. And I know one year come. I advise my mother to We come out in the ever been a woman. They come. They say, my man, I don't hear say. I don't hear say. If you are not the chosen one, you will not be chosen like the woman in the house. There are many women, but they are housewives and they are party women. In short, end of traditional marriage, we want to get ready now for bridal shower. It's all the time now, so about 8 9. Mm -hmm. ah, want to get ready for bridal shower. So, this is the end of the vlog of the traditional. A baby's girl, put it on. Okay. Yeah, come before. Why not happy? For people who are dressing up. It's the end of the day, so. I'm very Yes, actually, I think I'm very tired. For where? For where? clothes. I feel very red. I think it's nice. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi.